What's going on guys, Rudalinull here, and I am bringing you yet another update. Uh, today you're going to be watching a little bit of some work in Game Maker. I did this code at school, well I wrote a little bit of this code at school. This is an idea that I was trying to talk to you guys about earlier, but like a Game Maker interactive shell, like you could be writing GML, the Game Maker language, uh, like line by line, and everything will execute no matter how you type it. It's all like the Python interactive shell, and like or like Idle, or like PHP's interactive shell. So it, it ought to be pretty cool, but I was just testing some ideas here in class. And, uh, I, I didn't get anywhere with it, like, this was just me playing around and trying to see what I could do. And you're probably gonna see me open up, like, Adobe InDesign and get some work done and, like, print out a page or something. But don't worry about that, that is just me getting some schoolwork done. And it's not really code, but hey, it's, it, w it was in the middle of me coding. <laughs> uh, and I'm bringing you guys some more detail about OpenShot, the, uh, really, actually really, really cool, um, uh, new video editing program that just released recently, I think. I'm trying it out now on Ubuntu 11.10, and that's right, I did finally upgrade, and wow, <laughs> it is, it is awesome. I absolutely love Unity, I love what they've done with Unity. Um, I don't, like, plan on ever trying GNOME 3. No, I'm sure I will try it, but, like, Unity has kind of got me, like, really, really excited about it, and, uh, the stuff that they're doing now with, like, the Ubuntu Software Center is just wicked cool. And, in fact, yeah, that, that actually helped me out, uh, with OpenShot, because I was trying OpenShot just recently in the last code commentary I did, and, uh, the thing is, I was trying to render it or export the video out to, like, a YouTube high-definition uh, footage. And it was it was awesome because it gives you, like, a simple set of options, an advanced set of options, and you can choose whichever one you need to do. I'm not a big video guy. I don't, I don't know too much about, like, I don't know too much about, like, audio and sound channels and video formats and all that. Like, I, I know the file types and stuff, but I don't know the exact... I, I don't know, I can't even go into detail about it because I don't know anything about it, but yeah, it gave me an option in the simple section for a YouTube high definition video and I was like, okay, yeah, that's exactly what I want so I went with that one and it let me know that like, hey, uh, hey John, hey Rudy no, you don't have these codecs that you're going to need to export this video, so and then it gave me a link to a guide on helping me to set that up and I'm like, okay, okay, cool, I'll, I'll do this it's not a problem, and that was easy <laughs> like, I just read through the guide I got the name of the codec uh, and, like, the plug-in, the extras, or whatever it is, I think it was, like, lib av codec 53, or something like that, and I, uh, I actually, I, I didn't want to go through the, like, I didn't want to read through the entire article, because I just kind of wanted to get the video out there, I just, I just wanted to get it done. So I didn't bother reading that whole article or that guide on how to get to it, I just opened up the Ubuntu Software Center, I typed in the codec that it told me I needed, and it, it looks like it had it installed. And then, uh, yeah, it, it really did say that I had it installed, but apparently I needed one of the extra formats, so I did a little bit, a little, a, a, I'm sorry guys, I, I can't talk, I'm so excited, <laughs> but I did a little bit of Google, Googling, <laughs> and uh, I found out, yeah, I needed like the libav codec-extra53 or something. So I went back into Ubuntu Software Center, typed that in the search bar, and there it was. And uh, I tried it, and I downloaded it, installed it, and everything, and uh, and then it worked perfectly fine. It was exactly what uh, OpenShot needed. And now that the Ubuntu Software Center is so cool, you can actually like uh, type in reviews and like um, how it, how it's helping you and your system, how it's not helping your system, if this program crashed your system or whatever. And it is so cool. So I, I was actually the first one to review it. So if you go look for the uh, the codec. Of Available from the software center, you can actually see a comment by me, like root of the null, like, "Hey, this is awesome! I was just trying out OpenShot, and this is exactly what I needed to make hi uh, high-definition YouTube movies." And I'm like, "Sweet, <laughs> thank you guys!" But it's it's really really cool how like how easy and how convenient they're making these things in the time of like like desolation. I don't know that that sounds stupid, but like if you if you need something and you don't know how to get it, they're making it really really easy and really awesome. So thank you guys. And yeah, Ubuntu Software Center is great. Uh, the alpha release, the alpha release for Ubuntu 1204 just came out just recently. I think it was on December 1st. And I downloaded the ISO. Yeah, it's called a uh, Precise Pangolin. <laughs> that's that's really cool. I I googled what a pangolin was and like, it, it's weird. It's weird. It, it, I gotta admit that it's a strange looking animal. It's an anteater. But uh, yeah, go Google it. Go do some really cool stuff. Download the ISO. Uh, I download I download the ISO myself. You guys should too. And I'm trying it out in a virtual box real soon. Uh, I just wanted to get this video out for you guys. And real soon I'm gonna probably gonna be working with a little bit of HTML5 for a project that I want to get started on, like trying to uh, organize some my some stuff in my life. So I want to create like a calendar and then have it run through PHP and all that. 
along with JavaScript and jQuery, so it looks fancy. But it's going to be a project more based on me, but I will be programming and I'll be coding you guys. And you guys can see it. I'll, I'll record it and everything. And I'll probably be working with Python soon, too, because I wrote a program called uh, called Basilisk. And uh, Basilisk, uh, uh, I don't want to go into too much detail of it, but it, it was, I think I mentioned it before, it was a program that would, uh, like, latch onto net shares and then copy some files over to them and then run them with Visual Basic Script. I did this in Windows, and uh, it's... I wrote it in Bash, and I used Tput, and I used like the, all those fancy echo formats, and I just realized it's really slow. <laughs> like, if I want to be using that for the way I wanted to use it, trying to get information from like around from computers around me, I wanted it to be fast. I wanted it to be able to do more than more than one computer at a time. So if I use Python, I can uh, I can get some threading done. Um, I can I can make things faster. I can optimize the code, and that I don't have to use all these like these fancy output formats like centering text or making like a horizontal line. I'll just do it like line by line. And uh, yeah, if I use threading, I can access more than one computer at a time, and I don't need to bother, like, trying to mount it to, like, the A drive. That's what I had done in Bachelors. I mounted a net share to the A drive, copied files over there to begin with, and then, and then like, detached from the A drive. And, like, I'm realizing now that that's stupid. Why don't I just access it from the network share? Like, there's no reason to attach it to the A drive, and I was thinking earlier, like, I, I could go down from the A drive to the B drive, I have to skip the C drive and some of the others, I just go down maybe, like, the L drive, the M, the M drive, NO, NO drive, whatever, uh, drives that Windows doesn't usually use, and just mount net shares to that, but now that I'm thinking back on it, I don't have to do that, I can just use it from the network address, the, the two backslashes. And, uh, yeah, that'll be really cool, so I was looking up earlier today if Python can do that, but, yeah, that's got me kind of excited, and I will be working on that real soon. But, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to think back to what I had mentioned earlier in the video, earlier when I was talking, because I just sort of, like, rambled through all this. I know I just sort of, like, threw all this information on you, but uh, it's cool. I'm really excited about where things are going right now. OpenShot is awesome. Ubuntu 11.10 is awesome. 1204 is coming out real soon. They have the alpha release, and that's going to be sick. Uh, if you haven't checked out Oh My God Ubuntu, or OMG Ubuntu, you totally should. You can go find out uh, a lot more information about Ubuntu and releases like that. And what they're doing with 1204 is they're removing Banshee. Uh, they're going to have uh, Rhythmbox take over as the default media player. I don't know if they're, like, because they removed, they removed uh, Tomboy and uh, some notes things. Uh, I, don't, I don't know all the details right now. I can't remember off the top of my head. But you should totally go check out that article. That's wicked cool. Uh, I know, like, stuff is happening to VLC. That's what's going on in the, in, uh, in the, the geek community and stuff like that. And man, I'm stoked. <laughs> like, it's really, really cool to see, like, the geek community being alive and well. And, like, and knowing that I'm a part of it. And that I, I was able to type in a review and, like, let people know that, yeah, this is the codec you guys need if you want to make uh, high-definition YouTube videos on a, an open shot. <clears throat> and, like, I could send bug reports for something that I don't like in Unity. Because with Unity, Unity is fantastic. Let me tell you that. I love it so much. Uh, but, like, the first time your computer boots up, in, the, in those, like, first 7 or 10 seconds, if you hit the, the Windows key, your super key, you bring up Unity, and if you start typing, it's not going to enter the search bar, and usually it would. I figured that was kind of strange, but, oh my goodness, I can't get over, like, the, the fanboyism I have for Unity right now. They worked on it so hard, and they made it very, very cool and slick. If you guys haven't tried it, please do. I'm going to be showing you some new content and some video of Unity in Ubuntu 11.10, because, damn, I want to show it off. <laughs> I'll talk about it more in another video, guys. I'm running out of time here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it wasn't that great. I know I didn't do a lot of code, but, uh, hey, thank you guys so much for listening, for watching. Uh, it'd be cool if you could comment, rate, like. I know there isn't a rating system anymore. <laughs> Subscribe. Do whatever you guys do. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.